planet, there are currently 7 billion human mouths to feed, day in, day out. And within a generation, it will be 9 billion, or maybe even 10. We need solid foundations for the global food challenge. And for that, we have to be at Utrecht University. It is our ambition as a university to be relevant to society and in this area with FFU we are working on the global challenge of food and access to healthy food. Utrecht University is characterized by a broad range of disciplines. That is needed because the problems related to food are very complex and the only way to tackle them is via a multidisciplinary approach. Innovation is the key issue here. But first, we need to really understand food. We need to learn how nature works on a molecular and an urban level. And we have to learn how we think about food. How can we stimulate smart food decisions? Psychology is not only important, it's essential when you are investigating food. People do such seemingly irrational things, you know, they say they find their health important, they say they want to find their weight important, and then they do totally different stuff. So we need a drastic change in the way people behave, how they think about food, what they consume, what they find acceptable. When it comes to food, people behave in such a way that even good solutions can completely fail if you don't understand what people think about food. By better understanding how nature and human beings work, we can find new directions. With climate change bringing even more challenges to our crops, we have to be able to produce more with less resources. Nature provides inspiration for completely new solutions. Can we innovate our food production in a sustainable way? On a worldwide scale, 25% of all the crops are lost because of infections by pathogens and uh, attack by uh, herbivorous insects. Wild plants uh, live already for millions of years together with uh, their enemies and they would have been eradicated already if they would not have invented defensive mechanisms so that they can survive. And by investigating in detail what these mechanisms are, we are able to use this to make also crop plants better protected against uh, pathogens and insects, for instance. The human race is facing major changes in how it feeds itself. New methods, new foods, and new ways of approaching the whole subject of nutrition. What should we know about food for a healthier life? I think that most people do not realize that uh, the first functional food of uh, mammals is really the maternal milk, the breast milk of the mother. We know a lot about the nutritional value of milk, which proteins are in there, which lipids are in there. But there are secrets in milk we still do not know at the moment. The knowledge we obtain from the research to human breast milk, we can also apply for the development of more sustainable livestock. So combining what we have in terms of knowledge from a social science perspective to the medical science and to the sciences who can help us grow healthy food and can help us understand how we can make food more climate change resistant and help us grow the efficiency and the effectiveness of crops around the world, I think is an extremely valuable combination. I firmly believe in the potential of, of this project. Working together on one of the largest challenges facing mankind, feeding 9 billion mouths in a sustainable and healthy manner. To do so effectively requires a future-proof approach that is rooted in fundamental research. It requires Future Food Utrecht.